This first video in the AC Theory unit looks at vectors. A vector is any line that's drawn that represents a value that is a point of application that we see here, a magnitude, so in this case 50 meters per second, and a direction, and this one is heading in an easterly direction. So this would represent velocity. We can also represent force as a vector. Here we've got two lines of force, 50 newtons acting at 90 degrees to each other. And what they're going to do is they're going to produce a resultant force. To find the resultant, we make a parallelogram. So we draw this line parallel to this force. And then we draw a second line across here parallel to this force. And then the resultant is the hypotenuse. And if we measure that hypotenuse, we get 71 newtons. We can use a protractor to look at the angle, and we can see there we've got 45 degrees. So 71 newtons at 45 degrees would be the resultant of 250 newtons at 90 degrees to each other. Here we've got 100 newtons, and it's acting at an angle to the reference, and the reference is the horizontal. So let's see what angle we've got there, 30 degrees. So that 100 at 30 degrees can be represented by its vertical component and its horizontal component. If we draw it to scale, we can measure those two components. And I've drawn this to scale. I've got a vertical component there of 50 and a horizontal of 86. By calculation, the horizontal is the cosine of this angle times the hypotenuse because the, the horizontal here is the adjacent. Cosine of 30.866 times 100 gives me 86.6 newtons. My vertical component is the sine of that angle. So sine of 30 times the hypotenuse gives me 50 newtons. Is a second um, vector. We've got 50 newtons at an angle of about 17 degrees. Again, we can draw this to scale and find the vertical and the horizontal components. We've got 15 newtons and 48 newtons, and I can calculate those using sine and cosine. The horizontal is the cosine of the angle times the hypotenuse, gives me 47.82. And the vertical, again, is the sine of the angle times the hypotenuse, which gives me 14.62 newtons. And what we can do, we can add these two vectors. Now, we can't just add the 100 and the 50 because they're at different angles. What we can do is to add all the horizontal components and add all the vertical components. And that will form a new triangle. So there's the two horizontals, the 86 and the 48. And then the vertical, we've got the 50 and the 15 to give me 134 along the bottom and 65 vertical. And we can use Pythagoras. Or first of all, we're going to do it graphically. So we're going to measure this. And to the scale, it gives me 150 newtons. And we can check the angle using a protractor and that gives me 26 degrees. So my graphical representation is 150 newtons at 26. So we're going to check that by calculation. Here are my calculated values for my horizontal and for my vertical. So we've got 134.42 and 64.62 and now we're going to use Pythagoras to find this hypotenuse. So we square the horizontal, we square the vertical, add them together, take the square root, and we get 149.15. We can find the angle using cosine. We know the adjacent, we know the hypotenuse, we know the cosine of the angle is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So 134.42 divided by 149.15 gives me just over 0 
So to find the angle, it's the inverse cosine of that number. So the inverse cosine of that gives me 25.68 degrees.